Hello students, let's go fast. I only have 10 minutes to make this video, so I cannot show you everything perfectly like I usually do. I want you to read the directions on the first one. Circle the triangles that move only by translation. No rotation, no reflection. You're looking for only translation. In the next example, it asks you, for each of the following pairs of shapes, decide whether or not they are congruent. Explain your reasoning. Are these congruent? Remember, congruent figures can be moved by rigid transformations. So what kind of rigid transformation is that? Look at these two shapes. Are they congruent? Congruent means they have the same measurements, same side lengths, and same angles. These shapes do not have the same measurements. Type your answer carefully and leave a good description of why they are not congruent. Explain whether or not these two triangles are congruent. Explain your reasoning. Remember, congruent figures can be moved by rigid transformations to match each other. So what kind of a rigid transformation takes triangle DEF to triangle ABC? What rigid transformation can do that? Rigid transformations show congruency. How about these two? Can this polygon move to this polygon by rigid transformation? A rigid transformation does not change size of lengths or measurements of angles. How about these two? Are they the same? Are they congruent? Measure the lengths of the sides. Count the units to see if they are the same or not. And then, what kind of rigid transformation can go from polygon A to polygon B? Explain your answer. How about these two shapes? Are they congruent or not? Explain how you know. In other words, can polygon A move to polygon B by rigid transformations, rotations, reflections, and translations? I don't think so. A rigid transformation does not change angles or lengths. Decide if these shapes are congruent or not. Explain how you know. Type your answer very well. Same for these. Are they congruent or not? What rigid transformation takes polygon A to polygon B? Same thing here. Now, count these side lengths carefully. Three units. This is a diagonal. Is it equal to three units? I don't think so. They are different lengths. They cannot be congruent. There isn't a rigid transformation that changes the length of the sides. That's what rigid transformation means. Rigid, no change. Read the directions carefully. A polygon has eight sides, five of length one, two of length two, and one of length three. All sides lie on grid lines. Con create a polygon with these properties. It says on grid lines. That means no diagonal lines. Everything is on the grid line. Okay, I, I tried this one myself and it is pretty tricky. So I'll help you with this. Start with the one of length three. One of length three, let's just start there. And then two of length two, one, two, one, two. See these lines? They are on grid lines. Five of length one. Okay, let's do it. Um, one. Two, three, four, five. There's the polygon that fits those specifications. It has the specified properties. Now you try and draw it. Then answer the question. 
is there a second polygon not congruent to your first with these properties? Can you make another polygon with the same specifications that is not congruent? Go ahead and try it. Good luck, guys. I have to go. Sorry, it's a short video. Please read the instructions and do your best. Bye-bye. Oh, remember, it better be posted in the Google Classroom.